this is not at all the video I was thought I was going to be making. I thought I was going to be making a video saying how amazing the game is and you need to get it and it's well worth it. But in hindsight, after buying it, to be honest, this is what I think. It is what it says it is. It is just a relaunch. It's not a remaster. They don't really do anything to the graphics. Like There was a mod on the PC version that actually remastered the graphics better than this and it looks better. Now, they did also increase the player count, I believe, from 32 to 64. That's great. That's amazing. But for 35 euro dollars, apparently, wherever you're from, I don't really see how that's really worth it when you got games like Halo 2, Halo 1, those kind of remasters where now you can get them for 10 quid on Steam, and that's a full remastered game with multiplayer and campaign. So I don't really see where the price went. That's where I'm going to go with this video is I don't know where the money is going when you're spending this much money. Look at games like Helldivers 2. I'm sure you've heard of it. It's 40 quid and you get a hell of a lot more new content. The graphics are way, way more. And I get it. This is supposed to be more of a nostalgia type thing. But I feel like if it was like 10 quid, I would have none of these complaints. I'm like, you know what? Fair enough. But it being 35, it feels a little bit like a cash grab and them taking just taking advantage of nostalgia of their fans. And like, if you're just a huge fan of the Battlefront games, you used to play them back in the day, whatever, on the PS2. I actually bought a PS2 last year. I think it was either 2023 or 2022, anyways. I bought it just to play them on the original console. And I did enjoy it. I did love it. But obviously, there's no online, so I just played the single player. And it was fun. And that's why I got excited for this. I was like, oh, I can actually experience that. And I did enjoy it, but... With 35 euros, I was like, you know what? For most people thinking about buying this, I'm like, you're much better off playing uh, either the other Star Wars Battlefronts, the EA ones, or maybe even just buying a game like Helldivers, to be honest. Or just save your money. Wait a little while for sale, even. That'd probably be the best thing to do. You just wait a little while, wait for sale, wait for some maybe some updates. It would have been nice if they even just allowed maybe a slight graphical boost, like just slightly you know, improve the graphics, make it a bit more modern, but also allow the original graphics as at the same time. So you can enjoy either one you want. Because I feel like that's a bit of a split in the community as well. It's like, where's all this money gone? I get they got to run servers and stuff, but Lucasfilms has a, a lot of money, so I don't think they need much more. Um, Yeah, also one thing that really upset me, and I saw it online before making this video, is they're actually taking down the servers of the original versions on PC. So it's like, it makes it feel even more like a cash grab down because they know there's a community that will definitely want to buy this game and that will do it, even though there's already a community there, already in that game with servers, mods, everything made, and now it's all gone. And I just feel like, ah, why you gotta do this? Like, you could have just been... They, they made it seem as if this game was meant for the fans and yada 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 and it, again in hindsight it doesn't really feel like that so do i think the game is fun yes of course it's great it's loads of fun you'll probably enjoy if you buy it but personally for me i just don't think it's worth the price um i feel like the game feels as it should it feels like battlefront it doesn't feel any different i have no problems there gameplay wise everything else feels the way it should feel I didn't have this issue, but I heard a lot of people having a lot of crashes on console. I've been playing on PC, but I've heard a lot of people having crashes on console. So that's another thing if you think of buying on console. And obviously on console, I don't think you can refund or it's a lot harder. So just mind yourself on that as well. Anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.